Hello, hello Capricorns and welcome. We're doing your Christmas special reading, okay? Um, this is going to be a 2021 yearly prediction, okay? So Capricorns, we're going to be doing your love, we're going to be doing your career finances, and we're going to be doing your health, and then your true node, which is where you're heading, okay? Um, the path that you are supposed to be following, okay? Now, it's going to be different for everyone. Okay, according to your natal chart, but this is just an overall, okay, and it's just a prediction, remember that, okay. So, what we have for your love is nothing is yet set in stone. So, what I feel like this is saying is that uh, your relationship and things that happen inside your, your relationship is not set in stone. So, don't see it as you said it and it's done, that's it, okay. There are things that might come along that might change the stability of your relationship change certain things in your relationship okay and i feel like a lot of that has to do with finance so you may be financially supporting someone here okay um financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so this person you may be financially supporting them and it's getting quite difficult for you um to even manage this now retreat so it's kind of time to back away and move away and take time for yourself okay um or maybe you know it's about time to maybe it's not about spending money with your person or spending money on your person it's about really just enjoying the time that you have with your person right and just enjoying their company so with your career and finances we do have show the world the real you okay so that's definitely coming up as um you need to get out there and yeah really needing to kind of pop come out of your comfort zone and show people who the real you is you got courage here, okay? So you need to have the courage to do that. Um, Leo energy there. Very fierce, very fierce, very determined, very leadership material, okay? This is about ego as well here, okay? And friendship. So you may be making new friends in your workplace, okay? Uh, friends could be helping you financially as well. That's what I'm getting from this. So what we have here with your health is you are good enough. So this is kind of saying to me, your health is looking pretty good, okay, for 2021. So even though you may be feeling like, oh, right now, you know, this is like too much stress, too much tension. 2021 is looking pretty good for you, okay? You also have a completion coming in, okay, with this nine and one. Because nine and one makes ten, that's completion there. And I feel like, you're definitely ascending, okay? You definitely are reaching your higher self, okay? I like to say that word quite a lot when I see that light. It's like you're almost trying to grab that light, okay? That radiance, okay? So I love you guys. There's a lot of glow up as well happening for next year. And then you have 20, which is the judgment card, okay? 20 is actually the judgment card in the tarot. Um, this is about making a decision, but you do have truth here. So... It's about seeking the truth and needing to know the truth and figuring that out that there is more out there to life. So I feel in general with your health is good. Um, but this is talking more about spirituality more than anything else. OK, above anything else. So your true note is Capricorn is time to take action. OK, on your true note. No more lazing around. No more just, you know, hanging around and just doing your thing. And I'm not saying that you're lazing around as in you're not working and doing stuff, but it's about where your true node really needs you to take you, okay? This is about no more kind of procrast procrastination, okay? you got transformation coming in, okay? Really strong here, okay? Um, so the uh, 13 card is the death card in tarot, okay? So this is about transformation happening here, okay? Time to end something in order to start something new. Transformation. I see butterfly wings behind this image. So for me, it's telling that you need to come out of that cocoon, okay? You need to go from caterpillar to butterfly. It's time. Because you do have positive movement forward here, okay? And you have positive movement here forward. So I feel like this is about you needing to take that action now and move forward. Definitely do that, okay? like how a butterfly sprouts their wings and starts flying you know and they have jobs to do they have things to do i feel like that's what this is saying to you okay let's go straight in with tarot now i see what's going on for your love and your health and then we go on to career and um 
they go on to your true node spirit and angel guys capricorn please let me rise on venus and ascendant signs for 2021 in love and for health capricorn let me rise on venus for 2021 in love and health please Capricorn, please. For 2021, yearly prediction in love and in health. Can we start with love, please, spirits and angel guides? Got the Seven of Pentacles. What else for love? What else for love? We have the Moon card coming, Cancer Pisces energy, and we also have the Seven of Cups. Let's go for your health. What do we need to know for your health, Capricorns? For 2021. Got the Hierophant coming out. Taurus. Energy there. What else for health, Capricorns, please? Got the fall in reverse and let's get one more we got the high priest is coming out in reverse interesting very interesting okay let's go in I'm trying to find a place to put this I don't have a place to put this <laughs> all right there we go let's go in now with your career and your north node. Career and north node, please, for Cancerian. So me rising in Venus for the year of 2021, please. Career finances and north node, please. For Capricorn, so me rising Venus and ascendant signs for the year 2021. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't be talking just yet. Okay, let's start off with your career and finance for Capricorns. Career and finance, please, for Capricorns. We've got the Ace of Cups. Career and finance. Page of Pentacles. These cards are coming out quite similar, honestly, to the previous two readings that I've done. And mm, they've been coming out for different things. Okay, so it's not like, oh, okay, for you it's that. And then for them it was, you know, it's coming out in different sections. And then Seven of Wands. I do believe Taurus have this. There's you at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> right, North Node, please. Whoa, Aquarius Energy here with the Star card. Nice. <laughs> Ten of Cups. I don't know. No. That way around. One more. World. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. Bottom of the deck. Twin Flame Connection. So if you're not in one already, you're going to be in one. Okay. So, what we have here, okay, is for your love, I see that you've been putting in a lot of effort, investing a lot into a connection uh, for next year, okay? But do you feel like every time you do that, you're not getting in return what it is that you've invested equally back, okay? I feel like you almost are looking in a different direction now. It's almost like saying, I'm done with investing in this connection. Now let's try working on this, you know. Um, we've talked, we've decided, we've planned. Can we now move on to the next stage? So for a lot of you guys, if you're not married, you're thinking about marriage, possibly, okay, or working on the relationship. Um, what I am seeing here, though, is you look very distracted, very distracted. There's something here, Capricorn, that's distracting you, okay, and you're keeping it to yourself. 
And it could be that this person is keeping it to themselves if they have a secret. And those secrets could be that somebody here has a lot of options and a lot of choices, okay? And they're keeping this to themselves. They're keeping this a secret, they're keeping it to themselves. I also feel here that if you have been investing in this person a lot, you may be considering your options in terms of what else can be done in this relationship. Okay, so if your person's not working, maybe they could work. Um, if your person is not doing a certain something, trying to come to that balance with this person, okay? Now let's talk about your health. Now your health is talking about the truth here. And like I said, I really did feel that this was more of a spiritual kind of energy that I was getting, okay? Um, I really did. So the Hierophant here is uh, suggesting to me about learning and seeking knowledge and seeking the truth okay um in regards to your spirituality but i feel like with the fall in reverse you may be feeling like you're on the edge okay or you're just about to fall off the cliff here when it comes to your health okay or when it comes to your spirituality like there's a sudden change that's going to happen and i don't want to risk it i'm like i don't want to make myself look like a fool you know there is something here about your spirituality which is causing you to have that fear okay and not wanting to make a fool out of yourself and of course who wants to do that you know but with the high priestess that's your intuition there very much blocked okay your intuition is very blocked this is a hidden truth here um this is something that is not being revealed to you you may have a, a slight you know kind of like mm, I think I know what it is, but, oh, I don't know what it is, kind of moment, okay, with your spirituality. I feel like in general, your health is absolutely fine. You may get a few slip-ups in your health, but I think that, other than that, it's looking good, you know. Um, I think this is also talking about general checkups because this here is showing about status. <laughs> to me, she's wearing headphones, but I see it as a stethoscope, okay. I don't know why, I feel like she's just like that, <laughs> So I feel like this is talking about needing to have a few checkups as well, okay? Uh, you may have some minor health issues, underlying health issues, but I don't think it's anything serious because the moon there is showing us something that's very, very far and very, very small, okay? Um, don't, don't mean the illusion of making it big. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because you've got the high priestess in reverse, okay? Now, going on to your finances, your career, I think that things are looking very good on the emotional front that, you know, your cup is full, basically. Things are looking very, very good. With the page of wands being here, okay, I feel like you might be looking for a new career opportunity, somewhere where you can perhaps, you know, learn something more about something creative, something passionate that you're passionate about doing. This might be as well, like within your own workplace as well, but just try to look for more opportunities or learn something more new about something, you know. It could be um, trying to get all hands-on with crafts, creativity, okay, but this is about you expanding your knowledge. And I feel like you may be having a few struggles um, and challenges. And what place doesn't have those, Capricorn? But this is talking about you um, really really coming out of those struggles because it seems that you are really focusing on something new right now you know sorry not right now in 2021 if i say right now i'm so sorry okay but the intention is 2021 i've put the energy into that i just get so to the reading that i forget sometimes where i am um that's energy right there <laughs> so yeah um i feel like there is a little bit of cloudedness when it comes to these struggles and challenges you may be having a few issues maybe even friends by the way you know or colleagues that you work with you may be having some struggles with them okay but i feel that you may have to be very firm and very defensive in your case okay when it comes to these people that you are dealing with okay finances um, might be a little bit of a struggle and i think that might have something to do with your relationship okay in 2021 so just be a little bit careful about that okay now your true node um where you're heading is towards fame <laughs> fame uh, fame public eye fame but this is mostly about healing 
okay healing from healing family issues that's what i'm getting it's about healing family issues this is about healing yourself from the pain that you may have been experiencing and moving forward towards karma situation heading towards the light i feel and again i really do feel that this is about your wish and your hopes and your desires so your true note is really pushing you towards that and your hopes and your desires may just be to have a family for a lot of you it can be just to have this happy comfortable harmonious family and even have children and i feel like that's where it's going to take you it is going to take you because we do have the world we do have the completion and then at the bottom of the deck like i said you have the two of cups okay so it could be taking you to your actual twin flame right for like you guys you may feel like okay you know i'm not saying that if you're married you're not with your twin flame but a lot of the times we can marry our soulmates too but our twin flame will still be our twin flame so there could be that possibility as well truth and angel guides please clarify this reading for my uh, capricorns please scorpions can we do the scorpio please clarify this reading for my capricorns sun moon rising and venus Capricorns, please. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles first in your love reading. How about the Nine of Pentacles? The Devil Energy. Somebody may be living off your luxuries, is what I'm getting from this, Capricorn. So be very careful. I feel like somebody here has been asking, 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 and you have been giving, 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 and somebody here may be living off your luxuries okay that's what i feel here with this energy yeah see temperance sagittarius energy you need to balance things out okay tell me what about this devil energy So guys you might hear my chair squeaking a little bit i think i've picked up the wrong chair <laughs> like we've got two of the same ones and my children i think this is this is theirs okay queen of cups mm. you need to bring in emotional balance or so start using your intuition and if your intuition has been saying to you that you you may be feeling like this person made a mug out of you you've been giving money continuously to this person and they're living off your luxury and it's causing you financial difficulties you may want to sit down and have a conversation money conversation is probably like the hardest conversation in any family but again it has to be done tell me about the moon nine of swords yeah i feel like this person really puts you in depression and a lot of stress when it comes to this because you may feel like this person's hiding something from you you may feel like this person is um, is not telling you the full truth, okay? Especially if you feel like they're treating you as an option, okay? Or you may be feeling like, okay, there's plenty of options there, but why is this person not giving me answers, you know? So if you have discussed it. But again, I feel like this person puts you in a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. But there is that ray of hope there okay there is and i feel like there is a chance that given the chance there could be truth okay truth can be spoken see ten of cups there i have a family with this person as well but i feel like given that the chance the truth can be like spoken it can come forward i just feel that you may need to yeah i really feel like you may need to speak to this person that's the only way forward yeah that's the only way forward let's see what this nine of swords is ten of wands it came out before it came out again yeah this person puts a lot of responsibilities on you i think that you may end up feeling like really overburdened that everything is like a responsibility that i have to take financially working you know um providing it you're carrying a lot there 
Turn about some of cups. So this is for 2021, okay, guys. I just keep reminding you in between because I know I keep talking as in the present moment, but it's not the present moment. It's 2021 prediction. Seven of Cups with the Three of Swords. You might just be an option for this person, honestly. You may just be an option for this person. And I feel like this person is communicating and talking to a lot of other people, okay? They may, I'm sorry to say Capricorn, but there may just be somebody who just is in it for the money, okay? Um, now, besides that, okay, the other options could be that they see this as an opportunity. And for you, it's just breaking your heart because you may love this person a lot. I want to give them that. But you, you you want the equal amount back, you know. So, for example, you want the Six of Pentacles, basically. Like, okay, I'm the provider. I give to you. But what am I getting back? Are you going to work? Are you going to do something? You know, are you going to actually put in the effort, you know? I feel like you're emotionally burdened as well. Definitely with that Three of Swords energy there. Let's see what you've got for your career. Career, please, for 2021 for Capricorns. Tell me that these are cups, please, for it. Okay, six of... You can't lie th about these things, can you? I just said as well six of pentacles and you have six of pentacles for your work. So we do have a give and take situation, a very balanced situation here at work. Um, things are working in a cycle perfectly at work. I think of that with finance. You've got a good balance there, okay, when it comes to finance as well. Um, so the money may be good as well. Let's see what this paid of ones is. Whoa, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, moving steadily towards something solid and stable, okay? Um, I think you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. When you're looking towards a new direction and where you're heading, I think you know what you're doing. And you know that financially this is going to be good for the long term, okay? When it comes to this Page of Wands energy. Ace of Cups, oof, love it. So work is looking great, Capricorns. Work is looking great. You have it there. You have it there. Emotional fulfillment. Yes. I think work and career finances um, are looking really, really good, okay, for next year. Really looking up. Let's see what this uh, seven of ones is because, yeah, I feel like some people in your workplace may be giving you a necessarily he unnecessary headache, uh, which is becoming a bit of a challenge for you. You may be having conflicts with them. They may be coming across quite um, aggressive or even um, rude. Rude as well, that's what I'm getting. You may be getting a lot of headaches with that. So it's kind of asking you to just kind of leave the headache behind. As in, ignore it. You know, if it's not your problem, don't deal with it. But if it is your problem, let me see what this is. Five of Swords, please. Five of Wands, no, there is definitely a lot of competition, conflicts, and um, no, I think this is conflicts. And I feel like it's kind of that situation where you're at the top and other people are trying to take your position or have kind of like envy of you that you're there and they're sort of there. And it's not about high or low because we all work to get to the top, you know, at some point. So that's what I feel this is. Can you see that there? Like you're reaching for the top and you are at the top but i feel like other people are really really pushing your buttons that's what i feel like they're really pushing your buttons again you've got the six of swords underneath this deck with the seven of pentacles back again wow okay so let's see what this hierophant is about for your health tell me about the hierophant please okay you got the six of swords coming out in reverse that really wanted to come out um Sorry about that, guys. I really feel like with the Six of Swords, on a spiritual level, you're really burdened. And you're unable to let go of something. There's something here that you're unable to let go of spiritually. And I feel like you're searching for the truth. And you won't be able to let go of it or move into a karma situation until you know the truth. This could be about your marriage, even. But 
mainly this is about your spirituality and learning something about it like there's something missing okay that's what the kind of energy i'm getting king of cups two of cups could be about a new love interest could be like oh you might be considering that actually is this the person that i'm really supposed to be with like you may start questioning like is this my true twin flame soulmate connection because it doesn't feel like it now you know that's the kind of energy i'm picking up from this yeah definitely is let's see what the fool is about in reverse tell me about the fool in reverse you've got the seven of cups and you've got the eight of swords you may be very conflicted about other options that you might have when it comes to your health or when it comes to your spirituality you may be a little bit hesitant as well which is why i'm seeing that you don't want to take the risk um now when it comes to the spiritual path that you're on you may be a little bit hesitant as in what am i supposed to do which direction do i head towards and then you have the eight of um swords coming out in reverse okay i'm going to take it in reverse the eight of swords have come out in reverse meaning you will break free from this but i think in the first half of the year you're going to be very stuck with your spirituality reconsidering your options in terms of is this my true soulmate okay you may even feel the need to release and i think that you will but in the beginning i don't think you'll take the risk i really don't you got the high priestess upright this time so you will you will need to use your intuition here I feel like it's it's kind of that moment where you are going to be awakened to something new tell me about the high priestess you have the nine of pentacles for your own higher good if you listen to your intuition and don't block it out with the high priestess being in reverse you will be this will be for your own highest good okay this will be for your own happiness tell me more about the nine of pentacles thank you um page of wands yeah it may feel like you're walking a tight rope but you're towards the end okay of that tight rope um and even though you may feel like you're getting pulled back into that headspace of your intuition being blocked but i feel that if you keep persisting and gaining that knowledge and seeking that wisdom maybe having to go into hermit mode you have the moon at the bottom of the deck again a lot of intuition you need to go into uh you need to be guided that's what i feel here you need to be guided um the fact that you're blocking your intuition out i really don't see anything in terms of physical health that could really um really not be good for you because everything is looking good here you know except for your mentality it's like you're blocking your intuition you are things are looking scattered for next year you're blocking your intuition things are looking very scattered um when it comes to options you need to maybe just try breaking free from this illusion and looking clearly at what those options can be and that means needing to let go of something here there's something here you need to let go of okay so let's go in with your true node and see what that's about tell me about the star please two of cups oh my god so your true node is heading you towards a twin flame connection okay this is your wish fulfillment and your desire okay and yeah this is really what it is that you're trying to invest into this is beautiful energy actually i'm not going to even lie about this it's this like gorgeous two of swords you will have a decision to make and you really gonna have to focus on that okay um again you need to use your intuition so i feel like your north node is pushing you to use your intuition so that you make the right decision take those blindfolds off and realize that this is actually the right <laughs> path if it feels good that's where you're supposed to be going um but if it's confusing you then that's not the right path for you tell me about the ten of cups because you have potential of having a family with this twin flame and i feel like you're not with your twin flame right now that's what i feel capricorn king of cups emotional balance 
this is somebody who really loves their family with all their heart they nurture their family um they're just very very emotionally fulfilled when it comes to their family they just have a lot of love for their family let's see what this is so you are being asked to come into that emotional balance okay tell me about the world card with the two cards because i feel like once you meet your twin flame this is it you'll know you'll just know nine of cups you're being asked to let go of overindulging in something you're being asked to stop being about me 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 okay this is about you needing to turn that upright okay i think about what makes you happy not about what doesn't make you happy okay <sighs> I feel like you stop yourself from having that happiness look at this queen of wands four of wands you have the potential of getting married to this twin flame who you could possibly meet next year if you let your true node and um, go with the divine flow and follow what your true node is actually actually asking you to do because um the queen of wands is somebody who is also manifesting and i feel like she is a very very spicy and naughty lady okay male or female gender's not specific but this is a feminine energy so naughty man naughty woman <laughs> very feisty <laughs> you know what i'm saying wink wink um but yeah no honestly this is somebody who's waiting to come in and you're thinking about this person so much this person's thinking about you as well so don't let that abundance don't let yourself stop you from having that abundance if you feel that you're not with your twin flame a soul you know your soulmate and your inner calling is saying that then maybe you're not again it doesn't mean that you need to go and have a breakup with this person okay but go with whatever the divine universe is asking you to do on that note capricorns i'm gonna leave you with love and light okay let's go into 2021 with a bang okay leaving our stress and our pains behind okay bye bye